Wednesday, PPC Heroes. This week's installment to What Do You Know Wednesdays will be focusing on a task that can make your lives as PPC managers that much easier, automated rules. Certainly, automated rules are not a brand new feature. However, they are incredibly simple to implement in your accounts, and Google recently announced a couple changes to the automated rules feature that makes it even more usable. Using automated rules allows you to spend less time manually managing account changes for more typical or general maintenance tasks leaving more time for you to focus on bigger picture changes that will assist in moving the needle more productively. First, let's review some of the reasons you may want to implement automated rules in your PPC account. The first reason to use automated rules will be to schedule ads. An example of using this rule would be to turn your ads off after a promotion has concluded. The second way to use automated rules is by pausing your low-performing ads or keywords. Examples would be pausing ads that have lower click-through rates or keywords that have higher cost per conversion. The third reason to use automated rules is for your bids and bid scheduling. This will allow you to increase keyword bids to first or top of page estimates. The final reason to use an automated rule is to control your budgets and cost. An example of this would be to increase budgets for a low cost per conversion campaign or pausing a campaign throughout the day based on the number of clicks it's received. Now that we know why and how you would use automated rules, let's create one. From either the Campaign, Ad Group, or Keywords tab, click the Automate drop-down menu. Here you'll select the kind of rule you wish to implement from the options listed. For this example, we'll be setting up a rule to pause keywords when. Enter your rule criteria and which requirements will trigger this rule. In our example, we'll set our criteria to pause keywords that have zero conversions and have spent over $150. Next, you select the frequency you'd like your rule to run. For our purposes, we'll run this rule daily using data from the same month. Make sure you name your rule, and then also select how often you'd like to receive email copies of results from rules running. Click Preview Results to be sure you've set your rule up accurately you will receive notifications on how many elements would be affected by your given rule. It'll be keywords in this instance. If no changes would occur at the present time, depending on the kind of rule you set up, you'll want to revisit your criteria and alter accordingly. Next, you click Save. The final step in implementing automated rules is to monitor your rule to be sure it's functioning as you intended. You can manage your rules from the Automate drop-down menu under Manage Rules or from the Automated Rules link to the left navigation panel of the Campaigns tab in your AdWords account. From here, you'll be able to pause, enable, edit, or delete rules. You can also view changes made when a rule runs in the logs table. More on this in a second. So what are the changes AdWords announced that make automated rules even better? The first is the increase in the number of rules you can add to your account. They increase the number from 10 to 100, which makes it a great opportunity for you to allow even more rules to be set and make your job a little easier. The second update is the addition of the Undo Changes button available in the Logs table next to each instance of a run rule. So as always, you can view the details of exactly what changed when the rule was run, and if the changes are not what you intended or need to be reversed for whatever reason, you simply select the Undo button in the Actions column, and all the changes made in that run rule will change back to their previous positions. So go out and set up some automated rules in your accounts. If you have any questions, thoughts, or ideas, make sure you leave them in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.